So I charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy home. And if the solemn vows you are about to make are kept faithfully, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your Heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy, and the home you are establishing will abide in peace. No other ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than the those you now assume. So Nick, I'm gonna ask you first. Nick, do you take Janelle to be your wife and do you commit yourself to her? to be responsible in the marriage relationship, to give yourself to her fully into your being so that she can know who you are, to cherish her above all others and to respect her individuality, encouraging her to be herself and to grow in all that God intends. You may answer, I do. I do. Janelle, do you take Nick to be your husband? And do you commit yourself to, be, to him to be responsible in marriage, to give yourself to him fully into your being so that he can know who you are, to cherish him above all others and to respect his individuality, encouraging him to be himself and to grow in all that God intends in the answer, I do. Who presents this woman to be married to this man? What do you think? <laughs> you can give her to him and have a seat. You go ahead and join me. Will all of you, by God's grace, do everything in your power to uphold and care for these two people in their marriage? The congregation may answer, we will. Fantastic. We exchange of our vows, and so I'm going to start with you, Nick, and you can just repeat after me. I, Nick, promise to be faithful to you. I, Nick, promise to be faithful to you. Open and honest with you. Open and honest with you. I will respect trust, help, and care for you. I will respect, trust, help, and care for you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. I will lead you with a simple, just, and peaceful life. I will lead you with a simple, just, and peaceful life. As Christ has called us to live. As Christ has called us to live. And with you, and with you, I will work to further simplicity. I will work to further simplicity justice and peace in our world justice and peace in our world i will love you i will love you and be thankful for the blessing of your love and be thankful for the blessing of your love until death parts us until death parts us janelle your turn i janelle promise to be faithful to you i janelle promise to be faithful to you open and honest with you open and honest with you i will respect trust help and care for you i will respect trust and care for you. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. I will forgive you as we have been forgiven. I will lead you with a simple, just, and peaceful life. I will lead you with a simple, just, and peaceful life. As Christ has called us to live. As Christ has called us to live. And with you, I will work. And with you, I will work. To further simplicity. To further simplicity. Justice and peace in our world. Justice and peace in our world. I will love you. I will love you. And be thankful for the blessing of your love. And be thankful for the blessing of your love. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. Do we have the rings from our furry friends? <laughs> oh. oh. Sorry, I didn't know you. I didn't mean to the insult you there. <laughs> I was told they were the ring bearers. <laughs> they are. Okay. <laughs> they came in already. <laughs> Nick, we're going to start with you. You can put this on her finger. Damn, that looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I repeat after me. Janelle, I give you this ring. Janelle, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Okay. Janelle, put that on his finger. Thanks. Repeat after me. Nick, I give you this ring. Nick, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor, I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. 
happy to. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Will you have declared your consent and vows before God and this congregation? So may God confirm your covenant and fill you both with grace. And now that Nick and Janelle have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands and the giving and receiving of rings, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. And so it is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nick Jurek. You may kiss the bride. Nick and I have known each other for about 15 years and have been best friends for over a decade. We played sports together growing up and shed literal blood, sweat, and tears together. We also both attended CCU, and had it not been for Nick, I likely would have had to drop out. As locals, we both commuted, and my sophomore year of college, my 1996 hand-me-down Cadillac Eldorado completely died, leaving me with no way to get to school. And without hesitation, Nick willingly said he would pick me up and drop me off every day until I got another car, and this lasted for over a semester. If that's not a true friend, I don't know what is. That's the truth. I love you, buddy. I'll never forget it. I came to know Janelle and the rest of the Lawtonbacks after befriending Johnny about 10 years ago. 
I remember the first time I met the entire family was at a party they were throwing that Johnny had invited me to. And I felt so warmly welcomed that I offered to cook them bacon wrapped fillets the next time that we hung out. That's the truth. Janine held me to that offer, and the next time we all got together, I also brought Nick to meet this wonderful, crazy family. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right. I confirmed this with Nick and can take credit for being the one who introduced Nick to his future wife, Janelle, and all of his crazy in-laws. There we go. There we go. Yes. So you're welcome for the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. So you're welcome for the food and delicious cocktails, by the way. No, but really, thank you to both families. This is a lovely occasion. Now, with Nick giving me so much time to prepare for this speech, I found myself wondering what could I possibly say to properly honor two people who I love so much on their special day. And my intuition leads me to speak about how beautiful and joyous an occasion this is and what it is that we're truly celebrating two young, passionate, and highly driven people making a heartfelt commitment to one another in front of their closest loved ones. In my 27 years of life, I've come to notice that moments like these are rare and meant to be cherished. So let's do exactly that. To all of the grandparents here, look at what you all started. <laughs> and to the parents of both the bride and groom, congratulations. Both your children are now married to someone who will love, protect, and care for them always, and I'm sure that's all you could ever ask for. With that being said, I'd like everybody to raise a glass to the bride and groom, if you would, please. May your years together be filled with all the things you wish them to be, and then more. Cheers to the Dreadics. Nick, welcome to the family. I'm surprised to see you around for this long with our crazy family there trust me if you know us we are crazy um, you're an amazing guy and an even better person and your patience truly is unmatched if you know us we lack that especially um, it's an important attribute and we don't have it um, moving on to the bride AKA my beautiful sister. I love you so much and I'm so happy you're found here forever with Nick. I hope your days are full of happiness and you're both flowing and love. Well. I'm so honored to be a part of this day. Thank God I just got it. <laughs> I wish you guys the best on this wonderful adventure together as you build your new lives together. Cheers. <laughs> Captured by the good you do. 